out my duchess. If I keep them seasoned up good. Blackstone's right there. Well, let's see what's happening at the Horseman Haven. You see a couple of my duchess back there and anybody knows me, I'm really picky about my duchess. I keep them seasoned up good. Blackstone's right there. Today, we are going to uh, do country fried steaks. And we may actually go ahead and uh, make the gravy on the wood stove, we got it stoked up. Some more of the Dutch ovens there. We'll be using these two Dutches on the Blackstone to make our country fried steaks today. And like I said, I love to cook with Dutch. I got one that's seasoning out right now because I used it to fry fish. Get it loaded up. Then you can dampen down dampener and keep all that heat right here and let it blow out in the shop. Because we are like Thirty-two outside and fifty-eight in here. That does a good job warming up this whole building like it does. Well, this part, of course, everybody says, "Hey, Horsey, do you sterilize your stuff?" Yeah. Okay. Even next to my chainsaw and everything up here. I'm the only one that eats onions, so these are being cut for me. Okay. I'll bag those up, and then we'll cut potatoes to put in the air fryer. And I like skins on when I'm doing stuff like this. These are going to eventually be a different style of mashed potato. You 
probably never seen or done before, maybe you have. So we'll run them through the air fryer until they soften up and make mashed potatoes. And if I scare you using a knife, that's good because I scare myself. We will drizzle them up real good. with olive oil. EVO, as some say. Okay. Those are drizzled up. I got the batter ready for the country fried steaks. We're gonna make a bath over here and we'll start doing that on this island. We'll get these in the air fryer and be back next. All right, we're gonna make the dredge. My uh, wife and I grew up, grew, growed up, grown up. Anyway, we was raised up down south. My little brother, younger brother, was born there, but raised here in Northwest Arkansas. We got some farm fresh eggs, got neighbors down the road that's got chickens. Makes this perfect. wife born in Mississippi raised Louisiana and she's a crazy Cajun okay that should dredge everything I need to drain Shot of milk. Let me get this mixed in good. That way it'll. Give our country fried steak something to grab. We get the little dredging factory going on over here. This is my home SPG. Let me show you this. So we have our oil that we're gonna be cooking in. This butter will melt down. And I'll make a roux here and, and then start adding flour and milk to it until we get a good thick gravy going. Pretty much star of the show. It's gonna be these deer back strap and cut them roughly about an inch thick that way when they beat down they will be perfect for country fried steak
Okay, we will add a little bit of my SPG, just a light coat, because once that gets beat on, it should beat down inside that meat pretty good. All right, start of the show. These one inch cut back straps. Pretty that steak is. It's the best way to do it. Keep the meat from exploding everywhere and not contaminating my chainsaw. Perfect that is. I guess you got the idea. Love it. And be back. It's all the steaks. We're getting ready to dredge all that up while this is heating up. We'll come back. Things are heating up. Got the air fryers going. We will split these up in the two baskets down here. And those are on a medium heat on this black stone. We are getting close. We are on high. Grease is about 10 more degree hotter. Once it gets up there about... All right. The groovy gravy is just about there. We got... Let it heat just a little bit longer and thicken up. That's pretty close. I believe we got the right amount of pepper in it and a little extra SPG just for some seasoning.
let's see what temperature we got rolling here. Getting close. Looking for golden brown. Trust me, I sterilized that. I wiped it on my jeans too. A lot of heat out of it before we can put the next batch in we'll come back okay shifting gears now and country fried steaks are off i'm getting ready to take those to the kitchen those came out really well it's roughly five minute cook at about 3 30. um 
Now, let's do this while I take that to the kitchen. We get a little oil going. We uh, cannot forget about our mashed potatoes. Be right back. All right. Country fried steaks are in the kitchen. take the tool that I use to make smash burgers and we are going to take these and do a rough smash skin zone Mash them up. Gonna be chunky mashed potatoes. There you go. If you have not tried this, you better get your Blackstone get on board. SPG on the potatoes, but hopefully there'll be enough to eat. Okay. And I'm sure you can get real creative with this because I'm kind of strange. I like cheese on everything. But this is a white gravy meal, so it will be white gravy on these mashed potatoes. Then I will clean and oil down my stone later. Right now, you are going to follow inside the house with these mashed potatoes. And we got homemade mac, groovy gravy, country fried steak mashed potatoes. <laughs> 